for all the people telling you two to put a ring on it. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get through my hard times from Devlin. Now, here we go. May I have your hand? And there you go. To be your forever farm partner. I do. I was gonna do a self, like I was gonna make this the, you know, the ring edition and really, really make people watch. Don't encourage them, Jamie. Don't encourage people. Well, let's at least cheers these bad boys. <sighs> hey folks. Lester and Jamie here, and I'll tell you what, let's give, a, let's give a shout out to our U.S. Postal Service, because whenever they say, come rain, or shine, or even snow, Somebody's been busy. and we can include in that sleet, and just overall horrific driving conditions, we are doing a gift and goodies from the barn here today. You guys have just been showering us and these babies with lots of gifts. And today we've chosen a very cold and rainy day to get some things opened. We are here under the big hay barn where we're out of the weather for the most part. I still can't feel my hands though, can you? No, but you wanna know. And we will start our gifting goodies, the rainy day edition. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Cold and rainy day. You don't catch Jamie dressed like this very it's often. Amazing. The cold and rainy day edition. You know, we all love Paw Paw. But Papa has his very own address. <laughs> and the problem is people send stuff over here for Papa, which we have no intent and no interest in opening. But sometimes certain folks just, they, they have this desire to see their gift being opened. And if they don't see it, then they start reaching out to Papa. And the next thing you know, let me just say this. I'm going to put on this video Paw Paw's address. And by all means, if you have something intended for Paw Paw or Jake or Bree or Sister Kim, I'm going to tell you what address to send them to. Because well, when things get sent over here, we don't do this daily. We don't do this every single day. No. And so it sometimes does go a week or so before things get opened. Yeah, we do this mostly Saturdays. And so Saturdays we sort, go through everything. And if they're looking for something before that, because you're like, hey, it arrived, where is it, where is it? Then they have to come go through all this stuff. So we will post that address. And they refuse to do that. Yeah, they, 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 they don't so want to do it. <laughs> what, they, what they want is for us to go through it and sort everything out. And then we go and deliver it to their homes, which we've been doing that for a while. But uh, like I said, we've gotten very busy trying to do what we're doing with the Longhorn Lusters and I'm a Survivor, plus our daily chores, plus that we both work. And so I'm going to give you an address. You write it down. And if you have something that's meant for Paw Paw, Kim, Jake, or Brienne, by all means, send it to them. And uh, they'll get it a lot faster. I promise you that. Okay, right, you ready? Is, yes, ma'am. So my first gift is mealworms, which, oh my gosh, send mealworms because everyone loves mealworms. But this is kind of funny. These are ring pops, Lester, okay? Why would you think that someone would send us ring pops? I could only imagine for Lex. Wrong. Or, or my bus. I haven't opened the box yet, but the letter or the card reads, Uh, hi, Carl and Debbie. I know that you are new at this egg laying business, but keep up the good twerk. <laughs> Whoops. Good twerk. Work. Uh, I'm sending Lester, Jamie, and Jake an, an egg from your relatives in Kenya, Africa. What? Kenya, Africa, to show them how they might let the light shine through yours also. Maybe Sister Kim is crafty enough to use a Dremel or paintbrush to make some beautiful souvenirs um, from yours. Or the church next door or the school kids might paint them as Easter egg pro uh, projects for their parents or for their moms. Anyway, only the Maasai tribe are licensed to harvest ostrich eggs in Kenya. So I guess this makes you all honorary members of the tribe. Wow. I saw a YouTube video about how bringing the ostriches to that tribe 
has completely changed the economy and the, the living conditions for those people. Of, of, wow. Oh my goodness gracious, Jamie. Oh, it's I, beautiful. I don't know if I should even be holding this. This is an ostrich egg and it's the same size that our baby gives and it has engravements and small holes drilled. It's been painted. It's got a rhinoceros on it. And this over here is plastic or is like kind of a bubble wrap. And I bet when she said, let your light shine. That you can put a light in it. Through an ostrich egg. I bet you that you put a light inside of this. I can't wait to do it. And oh, I, I'm scared I'm going to break it. Oh gosh. So it's been drilled and there's a hole. Oh, and it's the little, okay, the little, um, oh, I hope this has a battery. It doesn't. <gasps> yes, it does. Jamie, it has a battery. Oh, how awesome. So it's not dark enough to give you the I full the effect. Through, but this is going to literally, it would, if it were in a room, it would light up the entire room as far as putting little uh, things across the room. I can't wait. How neat. So that's the hole they use to drill and drain all of the uh, insides. And it also allows you to fit the little light. And this is beautiful. I'm inspired. I want to get crappy with these eggs. Uh, yeah, forget Kim. We're doing that ourselves. <laughs> I say we. Yeah. Um, so uh, she's also included a gift from the Kazuri mission for Jamie. So that would be the little um, jewels things that i saw inside there open those up How i'm gonna special. keep reading oh i see a bird on it oh my gosh oh look hold on i have too much in my hands okay so she goes by aunt polly from florida see the bird and i believe that she's gone to africa for mission work and here's the earrings. She says that, yes, it's true that we are all survivors of something. She shares her story with us. She talks a little bit about how she's never gone through a flood like, you know, like we'd gone through here. But uh, she has also, but she has been diagnosed with a severe bout of depression. Uh, she's had a major car crash, with, which has left her broken, literally. So she understands the difficulties in coping with relationships and family, uh, friends, even church. And uh, she's watched quite a few of my videos, I can tell, because I've talked about all of those things. And I think that all of those things coming together has kind of made me who I am today. Not the good things about me. Those are beautiful, are Jamie. They cute? But the, it's opened my eyes to a lot of things. Anyway, so she's in Kenya now doing God's work. Uh, she is 77 years young. Bless her heart. She watches a lot of YouTube videos and she's chosen to adopt our family as the one that she prays for every day. That's what made me cry. Yeah. Why? Yeah, because we're like, why us, you know? And what makes me feel amazing is that she's 77 and I know so many folks who are in their older you know years of life and they've completely stopped doing anything and yet she still chooses to go out and serve in another country a country that i know has to be hard to live in uh, you know you don't get the luxuries here that we have in the states or or in europe and she's going out there doing that and uh, she prays for us daily she says that she can't really name her favorite animal because she loves each one of them for their unique personalities <laughs> that you give them. <laughs> she watches a lot of videos. Somebody uh, I know it's hard. It's constant work that, you know, you, but you give them their best life. And I thank you for that. And I know how much joy and love they give you in return. So I too, am going to cry at the very first gift I open. She sends her love and um, hugs from aunt Polly is what they call her and that she put it in quotes so i'm guessing the kenyans the uh, kiddos that she works with and the families that she works with probably refer to her as aunt polly and that's just beautiful and you are in fact a survivor that's so sweet. and it makes me feel sometimes like maybe a little bit of an ingrate because people 
you know, I can sit here and whine and cry about poor me, poor me, poor me. I got to do this. I got to do that. And then you have folks that have been through a whole lot worse, and yet they've come out on the other side and they're able to spread such joy to so many. And so I admire that, Aunt Polly. Thank you so very much for this. And for my gifts of jewelry, this is amazing. I can't wait to learn how to do it. I, I am so happy to have read that letter. I was just feel like I was whining and complaining. I'm still ready to cry. Look at all this. They send all these gifts to Paw Paw and they get so mad because we don't deliver them in a timely manner. And look what we get. And then all of a sudden, it's a taste of humble pie. All of a sudden, I'm reminded that the world is such a good place and I need to just overlook those, the whiners and the complainers because there are people that get so much from these videos and lo, it's not going to be me who's going to try to make a positive thing into a nagging, whining, wine session, whining session. I'm going to take that and put it somewhere safe. I'm not going to sit it here. You continue on, Jamie. You'll be by yourself for a little bit. Okay. But I do not want this to get broke. Okay. So the Thank next... Thank you, Aunt Polly. Thank you, Aunt Polly. The next gift is a double gift, one for me and Lester. This one says, Jamie, I appreciate you so much. You have such a good heart, and it brings me so much laughter. You're also a blessing to the sanctuary and all on Morrow Hill. Love, Teresa. Okay. We call her ukulele, but we learned that her pronunciation is Eulenhake? Eulenhake. Eulenhake, right? I saved it on my phone, but I'm using my phone to record. Okay. Lester, I hope this is you. This is Teresa. My last name is pronounced Eulenhake. Eulenhake rhymes with rake. And thanks for all the wonderful things you said on your live today. Have a good day. Anyway. Here's what I'll do. When I, when I edit the video, I'll stick it on top. So you say Teresa and then just open your mouth and I will stick it in right there in her voice. Go ahead. So it's Teresa. You Len Hake. There. That, sounds, <laughs> that looks right. Okay. So the shirts that she sent, she obviously had these made. This is so funny. This one, it's fine. It's going to be fine. Hmm. That's kind of a Jamieism, pretty that sure. Is a Jamieism. But Lester's shirt. <laughs> is not cool jake <laughs> oh i can't wait to wear that when i talk about and it has the thumbs down not cool jake that's not cool jake <laughs> Teresa, i love them thank you so so much now this is the gg so this right here is going to go into the back of my side by side and i will drive up and deliver this a little bit later on today once the rain slacks off this here comes to brianne so what we're going to do is we're not going to be doing this every time. You guys are going to write down their address and you're going to mail it to their homes. This, I have never seen these before. This is a Stud Muffin Slims, the ultimate horse treat. And so we will try these out first chance we get. I know we've seen the pig treats before, but we've never seen those horse treats. And I can't wait to try them out. Um... I do not see a name of where they came on the packing. Let's see if it's on the box. Uh, donated by Nora. So Nora, thank you so very much for thinking about our babies. And uh, I can promise you those will go to a really uh, grateful bunch of bigs and littles. Okay. Thank you, Nora. We both got a package and it says one of two and two of two. So that's yours. I placed it open for you. Okay. And it, this one is to, from oh. the two suits to boots, Jamie. Okay. And mine is to Lester. So mine is two of two. So you better go first. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on, I got a letter. I think you're too far away, babe. I know, I'm trying. Okay. She basically went shopping for all the things that she thought that we need. This is so amazing. So she's from Michigan and she sends some special gifts to us that are related to Michigan. She also says that Lester and I have helped her smile over the past years when she's been dealing with her husband's Alzheimer's. He passed away in February uh -huh. as he was only 65. Wow. This is so sweet. So sweet. So this is kind of neat. 
I've never seen these kind of Cheerios before, but you can bet I'm probably not going to share at all. I have never in my life seen those chocolate strawberry Cheerios. They, they do don't not have those sell in Texas. those here. No. That's amazing. Look, I got some oil of Olay for sensitive skin. It says that you, yes, it says that you needed that. Who says really? I need that? She says that you needed it. I have windburn. I'm, I don't think oh I need gosh, it. Oh my gosh, guess what? So it also Wait, said- Wait, oil of Olay, let's go on. Let's talk about this a little bit. Oil of Olay, why? Why she do had, I need this? So it also said that she had bought this before she was able to actually ship it out and saw it already on your live. This is sad because guess what? You got another. <laughs> you got another text. Oh my lord! How sweet! Ah, I love him. <laughs> so she said that not to tell Jake, but she's sending him one also. A Moo Build a Bear. How a special! A Moo Build a Bear. God, can you imagine? Oh my gosh! She I sent got me chocolates. Oh, the day just got Wait, way better. Wait, sea salt caramel. Yum. But and look what I can... got. I got <laughs> Michigan and Polish potato vodka. I got some sea salt You chocolates. say potato and I say potato. And I'm going to say that on Time Out Tuesday. How awesome. Ooh, ooh. I got dark chocolate and peanut butter block. Good? It's chewy. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely feel the caramel. Mm. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, how do you say her name? What's your Cheryl. Oh. I mine only had her last name on it. So Cheryl, thank you so much for being so thoughtful. Uh I cannot she says that, that the actual strawberry Cheerios are for the boys, but I got some news. Mm -mm, no, they're mine. I'm gonna need you Someone need a glass to of milk? explain this. Hold on, let me read it. What does it say? It doesn't. It just says what she sent me. Oh. And uh, oil of Olay. I think that there was a... sensitive skin. Yeah, so I think that there was a day where you were talking about how your face was all red from something. And okay. it wasn't a sunburn. So I do have sensitive skin, but I don't think lotion is going to help it. That's not lotion, babe. I think that's soap. Soap? Let me see. Ah. Oh no, it is lotion. It's That's pink, good. ain't Jamie? It's pink, and it says, it's "Oh, that's a girl makeup remover." It's not a makeup remover. It's twelve. I'm pretty hydration. sure that oil of Olay. I've seen commercials my whole life of why grow old gracefully. Fight it with oil of Olay. Oil of Olay. I'll there, I know how the jingle goes. I've forgotten it, but there used to be a jingle. Oil of Olay. One day you realize you're not going to be twenty-one forever. Yet you always want to look your best. That's the time many women discover a secret, oil of Olay. It's not greasy, yet it eases dryness by working with your skin's own natural fluids to help your skin stay softer and smoother, no matter what your age. Oh, Cynthia, you look super. Oil of Olay. It can help you look younger, too. And, um... Uh, I'm going to put it on your face tonight, and you're going to love it. Oil of Olay. Yeah. And happening. a pink bottle. Yeah. Okay, I hope it's not like okay. a wrinkle remover because that's like... I could of... also wax your, wax your eyebrows like we did Jake, right? I'm just and... wondering why someone sent me face lotion. What's wrong it's with my face? It's good for your face, babe. It's good for your face. Okay, okay. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, so let me go ahead and talk for a second about all that you see here behind you. Now, this stuff was not things that uh, were sent. We actually order food, uh, animal feed. And we get a couple of deliveries a week. We used to only get one delivery a week, and it would be about 13 bags. And we learned that whoever was here to work that day, be it Jake or Ellie or me, it was just too much. It wouldn't fit in any of our vehicles. We were making multiple trips, and then one day it rained. And on the day that it rained, there was not enough room down there for 13 boxes. And so we lost a lot of feed that day. We lost a lot of feed. So what we do now is we condense that order into three days a week. Um, even though we're not going to say thank you to a particular individual, this over here is a thank you to all of the folks who support the page through the Facebook supporter tab. Um, we uh, we don't thank those folks enough. I try to do behind the scene things, like little behind the scene video clips on occasion. The most recent ones I've been doing are the videos from Longhorn Lester's. But uh, I want to say thank you in. I don't say thank you enough to you guys because 
if you think about it, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes of feed right over here. And we, like I said, we order 13 bags a week. And those things are what, Jamie, each one? $35, $35 each. So you can do the math. I'm not gonna do it for you. But uh, you know, Jamie and I have not actually used money out of our own pocket to pay for food in almost two years. I was, I'm thinking. Once we got the Facebook supporter thing going, and that those folks are the ones who pay for all of the feed, all of the vet cost, and for those that make the donations. So we appreciate that, and we, we don't give enough credit because it's you can't call out every name, but you know who you are, and I, we appreciate that so very much. I'm going to pull my truck out of here now. Well, actually, I'm going to unload this. We're going to unload the feed. Take so, a pause. So I'm going to pause. We can unload the feed. You don't want to watch us unload the feed. Get the truck out of the way. Reshift the tripod to where the other packages are at by the front. Yep. Yes? All right, we'll be here right we back. Go. All right, we're back. And this over here was sent to Lester Morrow at Longhorn Lester's. And that's funny because we have not gotten anything for Longhorn Lester's yet. Yep. But it says for Lester Morrow at Longhorn Lester's. And obviously, huh? Pretty neat. So I'm reading the gift receipt. And what this is, is from Betty, Betty W. And she says it's an auger because she knows how much we use the one that she sent for us here at I'm a Survivor a couple of years ago. And guys, if I, if I'm just gonna have to walk out and show y'all. So this is an auger and it's true. I use this all the time, but I didn't always have one. There was a time when I did all of these posts by hand, hand, you know, by what they call post hole diggers. But over the course of the I'm a Survivor uh, growth and all, we finally were able to reach out on the Amazon wish list and someone sent us one. Well, Betty sent us one, uh, Betty W. And it made my life around here a whole lot easier. And so she doesn't want, hold on, read that again. She says, so now we don't have to transport the one we have back and forth. We can have one for there and one for here. And listen, that, is beautiful i uh this is a very very nice gift and i know these are expensive and i hate that you spent your money on something like that because i could have transported mine back and forth very easily but thank you so very much and i promise i will put it to great use and take amazing care of it and it will last me a very very long time and what will be neat is that all of the progress around longhorn lusters you see with fencing you'll know that in a in a strange way, you had a hand in it. That's awesome, and thank you so very much. All right, let me give you a where we're at so far. All of our feed we have here. Jake will help with that when he comes to work, if he ever comes back to work. These are the boxes we're going to break down. These are the things that should be delivered to other family members that came here. There's the auger. I'm gonna leave it in the box and transport it over to Longhorn Lester's. Uh, we bought those ourselves, and I'll have a, I have a funny story to go along with that, but I'll save that for later. It's funny, though. And then where we're at over here, now we're about to move the tripod, and we're going to continue on. We're back. I removed the tripod, and now we're over here working along the backside by the hay. All right, Jenny, work continues. Let's go. I feel like everybody's looking at my midsection right now, and it needs some cover all of that meant for girls okay don't call it out jamie just don't call it out i've learned oh, just don't call it out and you'll be fine this is to tina tina for you. oh boy it's heavy yeah oh no <laughs> please do not tell me these are the ones that jason from cog hill uses i think it is <laughs> okay hold on so these are a special, a special fence latching system. Uh, Maggie, you gotta back up, baby. And there's a couple of them. And I cannot wait to read the note inside here. Lester, I saw that when you tried to lock Carl in the little loading pin, uh, I thought this might would help you out a lot. And it would. <laughs> You could swing the gate and give it a, it would latch fast this is from Rhonda and Roger and they are in North Glen Colorado 
So this is one of those latching systems where you can just swing the gate and on its own, it will latch it. And uh, that was a hilarious video, a scary video, but uh, that will come in very handy. I can't hold it from here. Jake! I'm fine. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you very much. We have company. Someone's here. Someone's here, and we're going to take another oh, short break. Sorry. We'll be back. All right, we are back, and we're going to finish this thing up. We're running out of daylight, Jamie, and our light bulbs here don't quite give us the lighting that we need. So okay. we're going to speed it up a little bit. All right. So this one is to the cats at the Morrows, huh? and I'm terrified because somebody sent us a toy snake for our cats. Oh no! Is this like for training? Is this like for training, like Fireball and team to be snake killers? Because I'm totally down with that part of it. I just <sighs> I need to scare Lester. We have mealworms. All right. And animal crackers galore. <sighs> and sunflower oh, seeds. Boy. But I don't see a note. Oh boy. Yeah. So this here comes to I'm a Survivor, and it was filled with all kinds of goodness. I saw it, but I don't see a name. But thank you so very much. You cannot go wrong with some things, Jane. You just can't go wrong with some items. All right, this one says, oh, babe, this one was sent on February 22nd. We're doing really good. I'm on time. This is. We are doing good. This is good. We're within like five days of this. Moo, don't do it. Moo is behind the camera right now, nudging at the camera. All right. It says, Dear Jamie, I saw this right after one of your lives when you were especially asking people to be kind. I know the colors may be too bright for you, but these are made by two women in Florida called the Sunshine Sisters, and a portion of their profits go to help local causes. If you don't like it, please, please feel free to pass it on to another morrow. No, no, no. It's mine. Uh. <laughs> I've had a tough time lately, and the best part of my day is looking forward to all the videos from Aww. Susan. Susan, that's so sweet. I, I think that the message of being kind is one that I'll never stop saying and never never put down and, and just uh, it's part of who I am. So I'm, I'm happy that you heard the message loud and clear. And I love this. Oh, my gosh. Lester, do you know who's going to be so jealous of my tie-dye sweatshirt? Be kind. Ellie. Well, Ellie and Lex. And Lex. Both of those boys love tie-dye. Yeah, like, they do. Massively love it. So thank you so much, Susan. I appreciate well, it very baby, much. I got a coffee cup. Fancy. And there's no name on it, unfortunately. Oh, this is cool. It says that I am the Funkle. You get that? <laughs> It is the fun uncle. It's a noun. It's another term for uncle, just way cooler. Uh, I am the fun brother of one's father or mother. Huh? I can't see your face on the camera. I don't need to see my face. Oh. I'm not showing the cup. I am the fun uncle. I'm like a, uh, this is my favorite one is number four. I'm like a dad, only much cooler. <laughs> and it says it on both sides. Uh, oh, see, also handsome and exceptional for other. Oh, yeah, I love this. This is my new favorite cup, and I shall be drinking this in front of uh, in front of Jake, especially when Jake is hanging out with his dad. That. <laughs> Thank you very much. I wish there were a name on this, Jamie. I wish there were a name. Oh, I'm looking for a name in my name. So this is to the littles and bigs, and there is no tag or anything else. But they sent. Snacks for the baby. And, okay, vanilla wafers, Lester. One of vanilla Lester's, wafers. one of his most favorite things to eat in the world. I do love vanilla wafers. I better hide them. So, it comes from something called Texas Hay Net. Oh. Wait, Texas Hay Net? I believe I know what this is, Jamie. So while you're doing that, I got a bag. And Pepper it is. Treats. It's a giant net. Oh. That you put over your hay so your animals like Tex can't destroy it as easily. 
And I got two of those, Janie. That's awesome. I hope there's a note in here somewhere. This is a, these are huge. Texas hay net, made in the USA. That's important. All right, uh, I just opened a package. Were you done? Sorry. Well, there's no name. Aww. Yeah, there's no name. Thank you very much. That is a really thoughtful gift. That's very thoughtful. Go ahead, Jamie. This says, text, you have been so sad and upset lately. My son and I thought this would be a new fun toy for you to toss in the air from Kathy. Okay, so, I'm so curious as to what this is. Oh my gosh, it is a big tractor tire inner tube. No, it's not. Yeah. A how, tractor tire? How funny is that gonna be? Ah. I sort of want to air it up right now, I know. Jamie. But I'm going to tell you something. He's going to puncture this. It's really thick. Yes, it is very thick. It's thicker than a yoga ball. This is very thick. It is. And I do want to air it up. I'll wait till daylight hours. It's getting dark on us right now. But uh, maybe we'll make that a video for tomorrow, Jamie. That but, sounds really funny. But I'm going to tell you right now. It was her and her son. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to last, Kathy. <laughs> It's not going to last. It'll be a lot of fun while it lasts, but it's not going to last dollar. for long. You know what? I have had fun doing that. Okay. So, what is this? A caboodle! Oh my God! What does that oh mean? Oh my God! What does that mean? What's a caboodle? <laughs> What's a caboodle? You're, oh you're scaring me. I had one when I was young. It's what you put all your makeup in. And oh. I didn't know they still made them. So it's for you then. I'm gonna cry. Because Enjoy your gift. I see how excited you get when you remember your caboodle. I hope it brings you memories of those fun times from Carmen. Are you really gonna cry? Uh, yeah, because it's over so a makeup awful. container? Yeah, but they're listening to me. They no one ever listens to me, Jamie. Uh, yes, that is a moment. It's making me cry that no one ever listens to me. And they all want to listen to you. They all listen to you. Trust me, everybody's still walking around singing I have anxiety. That's a sweet gift. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Carmen dear, sent that. Dear Lester and Jamie, you can share this letter if you like, she says. I wanted to make y'all something special to show you how much I appreciate all the work in the sharing the babies and y'all's life with everyone. Being a single mother for nine and a half years, and also caring for my mother, as well as having two jobs and about 20 chickens, a goat, two Indian ringneck parrots, eight small dogs, and two big dogs has been hard. Girl, that would be hard with a partner. Yeah. Oh my gosh. By the time I get everyone taken care of and worked both my jobs and gotten home for a night, I'm mentally worn out. I can't, I bet. Watching all his videos and working on diamond paintings, as well as a few other things, is how I relax and enjoy the rest of my night. Oh, what is it? I can't hold open it. it. She tells us how to take care of it, and her name is Andrea. Andrea, oh, no. thank you so much. Okay, hold on. It's said to be fragile. Give me one second here. Andrea is a great packer. That's what I'm gonna say. Ah, oh. oh, I'm gonna cry about this too. Dang it. This wasn't supposed to be a cry video. Oh. You see why? Yeah. I can't get all the stickers off it because I don't want to damage it, but it is a picture of our journey. Is and that that diamond art? Yeah, and it's her on the hay. When you put her on the hay that oh. day. Dang it. Thanks, that was... Andrea. Babe, you okay? I'm a wreck. I probably shouldn't be getting goodies anymore. That's why I don't open things in my life. Because I cry. This is so sweet. Rather you cry than me, Jamie. Oh my goodness. We got more coffee. I'm gonna need we that. We got more coffee. We have gone through, oh Lord. Thank the goat, legendary coffee. Oh boy. Thank the goat, there's no name though. Nope, there it is. Go ahead, baby, read that. No, 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 it's just, that's the picture of Journey. It has her name in the corner, and it's definitely the day you put her on the hay. Yeah, that's that day. Uh, oh, that's special. Thank you. 
Happy Valentine's Day. I'm a little bit late on this one. To two of my favorite people in the whole world. Just don't tell the others. No problem, your secret is safe with us. Uh, I picked this brand just because of the name, which is Thank the Goat. <laughs> I don't drink coffee myself, but I know you guys do. With much love and respect, oh no. From Teresa Ukulele. Aw, Teresa, you're too kind. <laughs> this is Teresa. My last name is pronounced U Len Hake. U Len Hake rhymes with rake. Teresa, you are. you are too kind to us. Teresa, thank you very much. Jamie and I are both coffee drinkers. Yes, we go through quite a bit of coffee around here. Some days more than others. This is to Lester and Jamie. I like to save these small gifts for the gifts and goodies. Uh, oh no, for the lives. Uh, I always do a couple of openings on the lives and the small things I can transport back and forth very easily. These are all purpose gate latches. Everybody has been reaching out to me saying, Jason at Cog Hill has the best gate latches that you need to look into. Uh, now, these latches are mostly meant for J with an ache. <laughs> and sometimes, oh, even for J with an Amy. Every once in a while. I hope they come in and they're useful. I send hugs and love from Anna Marie. Anna Marie, thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know why. I have no problem with the old chain latch. That was the way my dad and all of us did all of our lodges. Wrap the old chain around and latch it in. And that's how the gates come with the old chain latch. But I have seen other farms, more sophisticated farms, that are not quite, you mean to pull? That are not quite as ragtag as we are. And they have nice, oh. Jamie, look. I love it. Who sent this? It doesn't say. No, why don't you folks put names? Longhorn Lusters. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna cry. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the thumbnail to our video. I'm gonna try to get where you can see more of Jamie, less of me. You, you in there, Jamie? I'm in. This is my spur for my croc, my Longhorn Lusters. Is that doormat. a doormat? It's a doormat. It's a doormat. My Dr. Pepper cap. And this has been an amazing gift in goodies. You guys took good care of us. And we want to thank you all so much. Sit it down, Jamie. Let's go ahead and end this video. Thank you all for loving us and for loving these animals and taking such good care of everybody around here. Go ahead, babe. For being so patient with us and thoughtful and kind and for, for shining your light in all the ways that you do. Thank you for gifting our babies, and just for being a part of our family. We love you guys. We do. We love you guys. And we'll see y'all very soon. Thank you so much.